Hello everyone, my name is Suk. Welcome back to another Arma Free Eden Editor tutorial video. You may be wondering why I've got one of my old videos opened on the screen right now, and that is because we are actually replying to a comment in the comment section below from Guido Grun. I hope uh, I <laughs> pronounced that correctly. Um, so let's have a look. I know it has been a while since you've posted this tutorial, but I'm hoping you still read the comments, so here goes. Is it possible to add extra operations to the helicopter while it's executing the recorded flight path? What I'm trying to achieve is a Huron heli with an SDV sling loaded and scuba divers in its cargo, flying to a point, unloading the SDV, opening the ramp to let the drivers out or divers out, closing the ramp and then fly away again. Do you think it's possible with recorded path and added script? And if yes, how? By the way, fellow Dutchman here. So yeah, I do think that's possible, but uh, the last time I made anything in Arma 3 was pretty much three years ago. I have some of this loaded up because I was like, oh, well, when was that? And yeah, this was the most recent video I could find, which was three years ago. So I'm going to have to get into this again. I have forgotten quite a bit in all of that time, unfortunately, but some of this actually did come back to me pretty naturally. And reading this comments, I had this feeling that I might be able to do it. So let's have a look. All right, well, we're in the game and I set up a little scenario here. So as in the comments, what we have here is we have a Huron Heli, we have an SDV sling loaded. Now, I don't know if you know how to do this, but there is in fact a module under systems and then under other that says sling load in here somewhere. There we go, sling load. So that's what I dragged in here. And then I synced it up by right clicking, then press connect, sync to, and I did that twice. Once for the SDV, once for the Huron. And then as you can see, there's these little blue lines indicating that these are synced up to this module, which means that once we're in game, these guys will be synced together. Well, this one is sling loaded under the helicopter. Down below, we have a little diving squad or diver squad. We have the Diver team leader. Now all of these are named and this one is D1. We have D2, D3 and D4. When we open them up, we can see this move in cargo heli one. So at the start of the mission, these guys will be moved immediately into the cargo of the helicopter as in the quest. Now I have at this point recorded a flight path. And if you don't know how to do that, I did make a tutorial video on that, as you could see earlier in the video. I will put a link to that video in the description below. So I'm not going to go through all of that. Let's just um, have a very quick look at what's going on here. So we have here, by the way, one trigger that is for recording of the helipath. We can ignore that trigger. We have another trigger over here, and this is how we're going to do what you wanted to do in the comment. I did put in a big floating rock here with a civilian on top so that we can have a bird's, or not a bird's eye view, but a up close and personal view of what is happening with the helicopter once you press play. All right, so as you can see, the helicopter is over there, the SDV is sling loaded. What you cannot see is that the divers are inside of the heli, but they are. Now at this point, it's simply flying over here. Now keep in mind, I am a terrible, terrible, very shitty pilot. I use auto hover here. And then I went down just a little bit, gave it some time. This is where I was planning on dropping the, the boat. Then I was edging forward just a little bit. And a little bit later on, this is where I would want to drop the, uh, the crew. And then, as you can see, the ramp is already opened. I already tried that out just before starting this video. And then off I fly. Now I'm thinking I might be a little bit too high, but that is for you to fine tune once you <laughs> recreate this in your mission. All right, so let's jump back into the Eden editor. All right, so what you already saw is this 
uh, trigger at work right here. If we open this up, it says heavy one, animate door, door rear source, one true. And this is the code that opens up the rear hatch of the Huron. So door rear source, I think is the, might be usable on other vehicles as well that have a rear door. But side doors, for example, on any vehicle would have a different name. All right, so another thing that we want to do is, of course, the first thing is to drop the SDV. So this is a, takes a bit of fine tuning, but let's move this trigger over here. I don't know exactly where all of this is happening, but we will make another little trigger, let's say of 100 square meters again. And actually we could tune this down a little bit. The size is minus one, so it goes up infinitely into the sky. We could make this uh, 20. Let's see what that does. So that's a bit low. The helicopter might not enter that. Let's make it 40. Now I think the helicopter would enter that. So when we open up this trigger, we can look for activation and we will say uh, blue for present. And in the condition, we will say this, or instead of this, we will have a heli one in this list, which means that, well, it's looking for a blue for unit called heli one. And if it's in that list, we will use on activation, heli one, set sling load, object null, and then the semicolon at the end there. So we could type more code lines behind it. All right, so let's see if that works. We will speed up time. It should work. I'm just curious if it's going to enter the, the trigger or not. Yep, there it goes. So that immediately drops it off. I sped it up because I'm not a very patient man anymore. <laughs> but at least now we know it. So the next thing is to make sure that the, uh, the well, the, the thing opens. And I actually didn't pay attention to when the door opens. After, yeah, it's going, to, like it's going to drop this first, then it's going to open up the door, which again, we did with this heli one animate door. Now we are going to actually give this a name. The variable name will be door one, because I want to do something in addition to this. So we are going to take another trigger without a radius. We're going to place it next to this one. And in here, on activation or the condition will be trigger activated. Crap. My typing skills are horrible. Door one. And this one will be called door two. We will make it wait, let's say uh, four seconds. And then I need to remember how to make people disembark. So I will be right back. All right, so I found a little line of code and let's see if that works. So soldier one in this case would be replaced with D1 and the vehicle would be heli one. And the code here would be eject. So they will forcibly be moved out of the helicopter. So we will leave a little bit of space, copy that, copy that again, copy that again. So then this one will be D2, D3, D4. And so this trigger should activate roughly four seconds after trigger door one is activated. Right, and then we can copy this trigger, paste it next to it, and we will call this one door three. Trigger activated will be door uh, two, because this one will activate after that second trigger. We will remove this, and then in the first trigger, we had this load or this, this code. And we will copy and paste that here. And I'm assuming that one means open. And that uh, zero would be closed. I'm assuming I haven't checked that, but we're going to have a look and see what happens. All right, so in it comes. I'm going to speed up time just a little bit. And now let's have a look, slow down until it's low enough. It is going to drop the SDV. 
All right, now we could also count the seconds here and use the timer on the trigger before the other guys are moved out. All right, so as you can see, that door is not opening. Which is weird. <laughs> All right, let me track the, let me check this out and let's see if we can fix that problem. And I'll do that on my own time, by the way, because watching me troubleshoot is not what you're here for. You know what? We're just going to do this a better way. We're going to remove the uh, the size of this, so it's just going to be a regular trigger. This trigger is going to be called. Uh, on sling and in here we will say uh, trigger activated on sling and we will give this let's say uh, six seconds because I think I counted something like that while we were watching uh, variable indoor one this one no longer has to be blue for present of course, because it's no longer an area size trigger. Let's save that and let's have another look. All right, speed up time. In it comes. It's dropping the thing. Now it's loading. So after six seconds, it should start. Opens the door. And it closes the door again. It's just like the guys don't come out. All right, we need to find a different code. We need to find a different code for that. This one is not working with us. So eject, yeah. Let me have another look. All right, I managed to get it to work. By opening this up, let's have a look. It is simply move out D1, move out D2, move out D3, move out D4. It is as simple as that, really. So in the end, all we really need is roughly about four triggers and a much better pilot to do what you really want to do because, well, my flight path is horrendous. But let's have a look at the final result. Speed up time again. All right, now normal time. Here it drops the SDV. Opens up the ramp. A few more seconds later, all of them come out all at once. Now you could split that up into multiple triggers, but there we go. The ramp is closed again. The Huron goes on its way. Now in the end, you might want to delete that vehicle, by the way. And I will do, I will do that last. So I don't know where it is flying off to, but let us say uh, we will add another trigger. And in this one, actually, first we need to do another thing. We have some helicopter crew members here as well. So we call him P1 for pilot one, I guess. Uh, Heli 1G, this is the helicopter itself, I guess. This would be P2. And we have helicopter Heli 1D. Interesting. All right, so all of these together. Uh, in this trigger, we will say trigger activated door free, because that was the last one. Right, this is door free, yeah. We will give this a full two minutes for that helicopter to fly away. Like you can fly it off to wherever you want, really in the end. And here you will say delete a vehicle. B1, delete vehicle B2, delete vehicle heli 1D and delete vehicle heli 1g and with that the helicopter should after some time after two minutes after this whole little scenario happens disappear into thin air along with all the pilots 
All right, so that's it for this video. I hope that is helpful to you. Sorry it took me this long, but for everyone else, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave a like and a comment below if it was helpful to you. Please consider subscribing because it really does help. And I will see you guys for whatever video I do next.